In 2017, Russia slashed its procurement of the expensive T-14 Armada, instead began upgrading its aging T-80 fleet. For the cost of one Armada, five T-80s could be upgraded. The improvements included a 1A45 fire control system, a new 1,250 horsepower multi-fuel gas turbine engine, modern Sansa U thermal sites, and new relic ERA blocks. However, that is where all the good stuff end with the tank. While Relic Armor is better than Contact 5, the coverage of these ER blocks are not all that great, as the turret ring is rather exposed and that issue goes all around the turrets. Yeah, you can see there where there's like a little bit of an exposed area that is like, uh, it's called the shot trap. While some other sort of netting armor was applied to push incoming heat projectiles into the blocks, it's essentially useless against APF SDS. Also, no ERA protection to the left and right of the driver's periscope, which leaves the area vulnerable as the tank is just an upgraded T-80BV and the T-80BV is an upgraded version of the original T-80 from the mid to late 70s using cast steel armor with some quartz inside. Unfortunately, this relic armor, much like most ERA, cannot protect it from APF SDS. The tank offers no other protection, no hard kill or soft kill or laser warnings. It relies on its armor and ERA protection solely which isn't much or enough. The new fire control system 1A45 isn't really great either, so on other Russian tanks, domestic fire control system have begun to replace them, this may also happen to this tank. The main gunner sights is a modern second gen thermal sights, it's pretty good, it's good enough. Unfortunately for the commander's gunner sights, nothing has changed, for his sights, they are still outdated. He can take control of the gunner's position from his seat to basically, you know, shoot at tanks and destroy other infantry and such. Um, however though, it's technology from the 80s. His sights is still an old outdated one from the night from 1978 with no stabilization, which also needs infrared to see during the night, which is bad because it gives away the tank's position and only gives the commander sights up to several hundred meters at best. So this tank is shaping up to be not very good. What about the commander sight in general? Well, it's thermal, which is good and can see targets easily. However, unlike some other Russian tanks, the TAD BVM commander lacks a commander display panel, which shows GPS intel of friendly unit locations and his movements on that certain area. And he can also mark locations of the enemies if they had that, which the TAD BVM does not. While the new engine in this tank is powerful at a 1,250 horsepower engine, it's still unfortunately manual, which some other Russian tanks do not have to deal with. Thanks for watching.